in the seventh parak of Tanya, Perak Zion, the Alter Rebbe discusses how when one eats food in general and certain specific types of foods and with the kayach that he got from eating that food, he then goes ahead and learns in Davins, the food is thereby elevated. So generally when a person eats, he becomes healthier, becomes stronger, and with, with the nutrients he's able to then go ahead and daven and learn and, 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 and thereby elevate them. When it comes to certain foods, those foods uh, are able to give the person an extra an extra amount of strength uh, in terms of, let's say, in regards to learning taita and davening, it, it, it opens your, your brain. And those, those foods that open your brain, they directly enhance your davening in an even stronger way than regular foods. And when one eats those foods, so they're elevated in an even higher level. What are those foods? So the Alter Rebbe mentions um, wine that has a, a good smell and bisra shmena, fat meat. And there's actually two concepts over here when those foods, as we'll show in a, in a minute, those foods um, have the nutrients to open one's mind, and when one's mind is opened, he's able to concentrate better in davening, and he's able to learn better. But there's another aspect besides the fact that it enhances your davening and your learning. These are things that bring joy to a person, and serving Hashem with joy is an added bonus. So there's the new, there, there's the added effect of the actual physical nutrients, and then there's the there's the mood that it puts the person in. And that's the simple. So we're, we're first going to discuss the, the actual physical food and where we, where we know that wine and meat, um, in particular, are, 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 are foods that are uh, foods, uh, foods and beverages that, are, that, uh, that physically affect the person to open his mind and his heart, Hashem. So regarding wine, the sources are very simple. It's a, it's a Gemara in Yuma and a few other places as well, but the first place it's mentioned is in Yuma, Ayin Vavam phase, the Gemara says, that Chamra Verecha Pichlan, the Altarab actually directly quotes that Gemara, that wine and the smell of the wine enhance a person and make him smart and wise and they open up his, open up his head. Um, when it comes to meat, so the Alter Rebbe doesn't actually quote a specific source, he kind of takes it for granted, um, which is interesting, I'm not sure why. Um, he actually mentions meat first, he says, Bistra Shmeina, and uh, just in parentheses, as we'll see in the sources, the, 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 the word Shmeina it means fat meat. Um, so when the Alter Rebbe quotes this concept in Lukhti Taita, the Rebbe points out in a, in a footnote that he, he doesn't use the word Shmeina, fat meat. Where in Tanya uses the word Shmeina, which, uh, which uh, makes an added emphasis. It's not just regular steak, it's a, it's a, it's a feta steak. So according to Rashi's understanding of the Gemara in Babakama, Ayin Beis Amadalif would come out that um, the Gemara over there is is saying that in response to a question as to why something was left out in someone's statement so he says the person that made that statement did not eat meat so therefore his mind wasn't as settled and therefore he made a mistake places as another understanding over there so it could be that's why the Alta Rebbe didn't want to quote that source um, we then have also a semi-source for this concept, also in, in, in a Gemara in Baba Basra, Chav Beis Amidalef. Over there, the Gemara says, 
they're like trying to advertise about different yeshivas. So Rava is saying, come to my yeshiva, because in my yeshiva, when we learn the meat, or maybe someone's talking in his, uh, regarding Rava, that when in, in Rava's yeshiva, when you learn, the, 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 the teachings are like a good fat steak. Fat steak over there, according to one version of the Gemara, and according to other versions, the word fat is left out. Um, going back to the Lukutitoida verse, Parshat Tzah, verse Tanya, taking out the word fat. Um, and then we have a third source regarding meat, that there's a, I'm not going to quote the entire Gemara, because it's a, a little intense, but one line of the Gemara, <laughs> this is from the lighter lines in that Gemara, about Ama Oretz. The Gemara over there really uh, says regarding an Ama Oretz, and a, a person that's, that's not learned, that, that, that really doesn't know any Taita, so he only knows about land. He's an Am Ha'oretz, so Psachim Mem Tesem with Beis. The mother says that an Amma Oretz is not allowed to eat meat. Only Tomidei Chachamim are allowed to eat meat. So from there we see that meat is a special food to enhance the study of Torah.